It is amazing how having an eye for turning around companies is what made JP Chaudhary an entrepreneur. A commerce graduate from Kolkata, Chaudhary coming from a family with a modest background began working as an apprentice at the young age of 15 and then took up jobs in various companies for the next 27 years. This long experience gave him exposure as to how different industries are run. In 1981, while he was pushing 40, Chaudhary came across a unit making steel castings that was into liquidation. His sixth sense told him that this company could be turned around easily. He felt so strong about it that he quit his job and put his life savings into acquiring Titagar Steels. An employee became an employer. My own capital was just 1 lakh rupees I had at that time. But then when I quit my existing job, I got my retirement benefits which amounted to another 4 lakhs. So the, with this amount, uh, I became a 50% uh, uh, co-promoter in the unit. And that's how we started uh, the process that is Tita Gar Steel. And his sixth sense was not wrong. Chaudhary turned around Tita Gar Steel in the first year itself. And this gave him the confidence to acquire Tita Gar Paper Mill, which was a BIFR case. He managed to turn around this paper mill too. But unfortunately for Chaudhary, the paper industry was at the wrong side of its business cycle and the slump hit all paper mills. Luckily for Chaudhary, opportunity came knocking from elsewhere. The Indian Railways de-licensed the manufacturing of wagons and Titagar Steel, which was making wagon components for some wagon manufacturers, got into wagon manufacturing. Titagar wagon started in 1996. I was having dinner with a railway official who uh, asked me a question that Mr. Chaudhary, why don't you start making wagons? I said, uh, uh, I don't have a railway siding, I don't have facilities and a wagon building is a huge thing, I don't have money also. So how can I? He said, well, think about it. So we had a casual conversation over dinner, but that set me thinking. And in uh, a part of Titagar paper mill, we had a railway siding. And I started thinking that can I not start making wagons there. Then we went, talked to some experts who were uh, uh, in wagon manufacturing industry. And then uh, I decided that yes, we will go in for wagon manufacturing. Thus was born Titagar Wagons in a jute go-down in West Bengal with an initial capital of 50 lakh rupees. The company's fortune was linked to the Indian Railways. Between 2002 and 2008, Titagar clocked growth of 100% and it touched the 100 crore rupee mark in 2004-2005. Revenues kept looking north with the turnover touching 704 crore rupees in 2008-2009. With business booming, the management kept acquiring sick companies and turned them around. In 2005, the company entered the heavy engineering sector with the acquisition of a loss-making unit of Hyderabad Industries for a token amount of 1 lakh rupees. Its unit at Uttarpara in West Bengal made engineering products such as excavators, cranes and was synergistic to Titagar's wagon business. Here, Titagar further built capacity to manufacture electrical multiple units or EMU coaches. In 2007, Titagar bagged its first order for EMU coaches from Indian Railways. In 2008, Titagar wagons picked a stake in SK Birla controlled Simco. The company was one of the premier wagon manufacturing companies till 2000 but had turned sick. And Chaudhary's acumen once again came to the fore and Simcoe's net worth turned positive in 2010. In 2010, the Chaudhrys bought out the assets of the French company Abel Foy Rail for a bargain price of 100 crore rupees. AFR had the capacity to manufacture 5,000 wagons and five years later, in July 2015, Titagar took over the bankrupt Italian company Firema Trasporti for 25 million euros to foray into metro coach and high-speed train manufacturing. Today, thanks to his de-risking strategy, 
it has bagged orders for wagon and coaches from other quarters has also made a mark in the defence space. Now the Chaudhrys are looking to the future with optimism.